So you want to buy a DTF printer and get in on the gold rush? The DTF gold rush. Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, before you buy one, watch this video. Let's make t-shirts. It is never a dull day here at Merch Studio, I'm telling you. We haven't even fixed this press, and now we got something else we need to do. You see this thing here? That is slight cold. That's the oil that comes out of your DTF prints as you cure it through this oven. So basically these inks, they have the pigment and they have the solvent. The solvent includes glycol. That glycol is what's, uh, coal is what's, that glycol is what suspends the ink pigment in your solvent. And we dry all of that out so that it evaporates. And we do have these P traps. We got one over here, another one there for the other printer. And we have another one here. And then all the fumes, which include the glycol, it gets pulled out by that fan. But if you see here, we've got some glycol happening in the film, inside the oven. So today we're going to remove all of this. We have the bulbs, we have that cover. We're gonna remove all that and clean all of it because we've had this thing for like more than two years now. And we're thinking that's where the glycol is accumulating. Okay, so what we need to do to clean it up is remove this thing here, like the steel plate. You gotta remove that. But these lamps are in the way and I'm trying to remove them, but there's not much slack on them and they're connected here in the end. And I don't know if I need to remove that. I, I don't know how to take the lamps off so that we can remove the steel plate. Yeah, that's the oil is dripping right there underneath. Underneath, it's so sweet. You have to remove all of this stuff. Oh, nasty stuff. I know where it is. I know what it is. We're gonna have to buy some of this. Go do DTF, they say. It's gonna be fun, they say. See that? So this is all like burn dried glycol and insulation. It's too nasty. We're gonna try and scrape it off out here some water on it in the scraper thingy because now it's not gonna go to the air because it wet this is like asmr nightmare fuel oh man that hurt my back and god's not raining right now it's not cold see this is why i love houston because i don't need to worry about the cold for 99 percent of the year this is what it looks like right now let me show you see that so wet we're gonna dry it up see that oh looking nice so now we're gonna go back inside and clean the other parts of uh, the dryer. But getting safe straight. Time for a little bit of melamine. Look, my look. We got most of it out and the melamine, Mr. Clean thingy here, it's getting rid of the rest. By the way, Mr. Clean, that was a smart marketing move, but everyone knows how much these cost now. Where? Look at that, like a boss. Yep, I think we're good, but now, we gotta get some of that insulation from Lowe's. We need like a rag with soap and then a dry rag. But check this out, nice and crisp. Not perfect, not 100%, but you know, way cleaner than it was. Riveting, exciting cut. All right, it is now time to go to Man Target. All right, everything is like a huge package. <laughs> huge package. Are you not ashamed of yourself? No. I'm trying to find a small, like, set that I can just get. I guess we can go with this. What's it look like, though? Fiberglass roll right here. <laughs> Alright, I'm just trying to amuse myself, but here we go. Hi, how are you doing? I didn't take any more videos because it's raining outside and I don't want this camera to get wet, so... And here we are, back at the garage. Here in my garage. We're gonna work on this. All right, so we need 33 and a half inches by 17 inches. This is 15 inch wide. So we're short a little bit. Here we are, take this off. We're gonna measure 33 inches like this. This is a trick that I learned from the University of YouTube. I'm gonna squish this, step on that. Let's see if this works. I think we're done. All right, take off the wood and we're gonna remove this. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. You got it? We're good? Gotta try this first to see if it's like centered. Oh, okay. Okay, it is centered. Didn't give me the cutter. I think I got it. 
today. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring this up. I'm just gonna try it, see if it fits right. See if it fits, it fits right. We added two and a half by 15 side by side. So, you know, we can save up on some of this insulation. And then we are gonna start closing it up and hope for the best. So we gotta do it from the other side. All right, do it, let's go. All right, got that. Should be good. Okay, we got it. Oh boy. This is harder than I thought it would move. Oh, <laughs> oh no, honey, I'm good. Hi. Right. Ah, it worked. All right, let's do it. Turn it off. We're good. Turn it on. Oh, we're good. All lit up. So on that video, it's probably gonna take like two minutes to get all that done. But in reality, what time is it now? It is now there. 9.47. Probably took us like two hours to just put it all back together. And this is what the shop looks like right now. Fiberglass, insulation everywhere. We're gonna have to go clean that dryer because there's a whole bunch of gunk in there. But it's working now. There's not gonna be any drips. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not gonna be doing this still tonight, but I will do that tomorrow, I promise. Why you always lying? All right, that is the end of the day today. Now that's crazy. It is the next day we are with, you already know, Super Mom Sai busting out prints today. We got a few samples so we need to ship out. How are we doing it with the orders? The Sai feel a little low. Yeah, a little low. So we're trying to bust out more TikToks and short form videos. So we're doing ads as well. But also we're not, we're a little bit worried, but not so much because you can see here, we have some shirt orders that came in as well. And these shirts were supposed to uh, go out yesterday, but the shirts were late being delivered and they just got in. So we're busting them out. We already have the prints though. All right, we're gonna let them do their thing and I'm gonna go back to uh, editing TikToks, but we got two more orders that need to be picked up today. Oh, and before I uh, forget, I just remember this because I'm doing a TikTok on topic, but people say that you can't do neon on DTF. Ah, see that? It's not real neon, it's CMYK, but it has that, that like neon glow effect. And if you wanna know how to do that, follow us on TikTok because the video is going to be there. Exactly. Just a few orders, but man, some of them are like super heavy. You're going to know if the bigger orders, we double tape them. We use those round tape and then we use some packing tape as well. I don't know if you can see that, but we have like packing tape going all the way around like that too. You know, just so it doesn't open. And that's from experience. You know, you do something, it doesn't work out, make improvements. That's, you know, that's the best that we can do, right? And hopefully we can make improvements fast so that we don't get run over by our competition. And we got to get this as well. These are the shirts for one of the our clients that work for UPS. She ordered some shirts and she wanted to pick it up today, but I was like, no, I'm going there anyway. So just, you know, wait for us there. So, yep, she's there right now. heading off to the shop for a little bit just to uh, grab the key because the electrician uh, dropped it off. All right, I gotta go find the key because I'm not sure if it's gonna be there or there. Another semi-crazy day here, merch studio. Still haven't fixed that thing because a lot of things happened along the way, but we're gonna get it done. The good thing about having other equipment is that we don't have to rush in fixing this, although we will get that done. But right now we got a different problem that we need to fix because one of my clients sent me this. So we did a few test files. I don't know if you can see the black. The black looks good. You don't see any overlap and the white lines look good too. But so the text, it shows me that it's not lined up. So we have some calibration issues with the white is what it's telling me. And that absolutely 100% sucks. So we're gonna fix that this morning. Right, Ma? Say hi. <laughs> and we're gonna use this thing. And yes, it is a digital microscope thingy. So we're gonna go to adjust and then we're gonna go to color adjust and we're gonna print left adjust and right adjust and make some adjustments there. Start with that.
So here's the file. You got channels zero to seven for whites. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna see where the white is calibrated. This was the left one or the left print. We're gonna do with the white print as well. But so we can make sure that, you know, we're accurate or we're seeing it accurately. We are going to use this uh, pen microscope or digital microscope that is connected to this cell phone. So basically what I do is I just put it on there and it's going to show me on the phone what that light looks like. And I can zoom in, zoom out, see that. So these are your white spots there. But basically what we have to do is like for every channel, so you have like channel zero to channel seven, we're going to find whichever line shows you the best alignment between white and black. And if it says zero, then that means that, it, that they're aligned. If it's just minus one, that means you subtract whatever number is in the software by one. If it's plus one, then you add one more, so on and so forth. But, you know, just like with the other calibration stuff that we're doing, you know, we just uh, kind of tweak it as we go. I don't know if any of that made sense to y'all, but all we're doing is we're using a super zoomed in camera, which is this thing, to look at these lines and figure out which ones are the best setting. My guy. <laughs> Tito Powell is in the house. Look at that pretty boy. Pretty boy. The last uh, test that we did, uh, I'm going to show you the difference between what we had before and what we have now. So this was our white after all the calibration, but just to compare it, this is what it looked like before. And we've been printing on this printer the whole time, but now this is good to go as well. So we're going to see if we can hopefully catch up on all the orders today. And I'm going to get out of their way because I know they're about to kick me out anyway. Now I'm gonna fix the website because that dark team that I'm using, I bought that outside Shopify and I learned the hard way that that's not the best thing to do. That it's easier to edit themes if you get them from Shopify. Man, all I ever do is fix things.